So something I've always noticed in the Lizzie Bennet Diaries is that Lizzie has a very creative way, for the most part, to get like to feed into her little hive and it was Lizzie Bennet in whatever she decides she's gonna talk about in the video. Well I can't think of anything like that today, so Hi, my name is Kara, and with campers you either love them or you have mixed feelings about them. Can't you see there ain't nothing better than C A A C A A Yeah, with campers they will either be completely and totally awesome or you will just not have very good memories of them. Um, or you might have a mix. You know, most of the time it's probably a mix because they are humans like the rest of us and they have good things and bad things about them. That's what makes us human. Yes. Yes. Uh, you, at CAA you get new campers every single week. Sometimes you might get the same camper. It doesn't necessarily mean it'll be like, oh you had this camper last week, well you're gonna have this camper again this next week. It's completely and totally random. They don't do it on purpose. So I, I have, I actually got to have uh, a camper twice. I actually had two different campers twice in the summer, and it was totally awesome. They were fantastic, and I loved them. And there's just you know different things that like you know stick out in your mind about campers. And honestly, the week I remember the most because I was the most trepidatious about it, and it happened to be the most fun for me. It was the week that I was given six six-year-old boys. Now, for the most part during my summer, I worked with girls that were that either just completed third grade through fifth grade, somewhere around there. That's generally what I worked with. But one week, I was put in junior camp, and they gave me six six-year-old boys, and it was the best week I had ever had. It was just so much fun hanging out with these little boys. They were so, like, they hung on to everything I had to say, probably because... It was very apparent that I was a nerd. I was more than willing to talk about sports, talk about video games, which is one of the things that we talked about a lot, was specifically Mario Kart. Specifically what we talked about. Like, I think one of the cutest things, and I have a picture of it here. Yep. Uh, they, for some reason, like, started on the first day, and it would, like, and continued for the most part. They would just, like, suck their t-shirt, they'd suck their, like, knees into their shirts, and they would pull their hands in and be like, I'm a Goomba, I'm a Goomba. It was so cute and I loved it. And so one of the things that they believe in junior camp is that they are ninjas. And it was really cool because it definitely helped when it was time to go through quiet zones and they had to be quiet and stealthy. They were more than willing because they had to be ninjas. Had to be ninjas. Well, I was able to convince them that in D2 we are all Jedi. They believed me because I was able to use the force by opening the door with the, with the force. It was really a key, but you know, they don't have to know that. And I also had a little Yoda that was on my backpack and he talked, you know, squeeze him, squeeze him, he says something. And you know what, they believe me. It was totally awesome. And I don't know, I was just, I loved my junior camp boys. You know, just a picture of my junior camp boys. I miss them dearly. I think one of the funniest things that uh, that my camp, that one of my campers said, was I told him because we was at lunch, told him that yeah, I don't know how he managed to do it, but he had crumbs in his hair, and without like I told him I was like you know Ryan you have you have crumbs in your hair, without even thinking about it he goes I'm a crumb monster, it was so cute, just it's like all right, you are totally fine with your crumbs in your hair. I still don't know how he managed to get crumbs in his hair. They all loved to play cards and whatnot, and they were just very chill, and very willing to just kind of do whatever I asked them to do. And they were very good about sticking with me. It was very cool. I was very nervous about you know being in junior camp just because you know just going from D two to junior camp alone because junior camp is four to six year olds, and then D two is like nine to eleven year olds. So you have a very different way of connecting with them, and. It was just really cool being able to still have a connection and build a relationship with my campers because one of the campers in my group was a 10 week camper and somehow I managed to earn the badge of coolness with this camper because usually after he has a female counselor he won't talk to them the following week. This kid would come up and start conversations with me. I don't know how I managed to do that but it made me feel pretty awesome. It felt like I was actually you know, doing my job. So it was just awesome. Best camper ever. 
<laughs> honestly I could say that about a lot of different campers there isn't one camper that's like oh my gosh definitely the best thing ever but a lot of them you know they just help you a lot of things one thing about campers is that they can help you feel like you're doing your job right because if if they like you well enough they will think you are the bomb.com honestly that is how it works always definitely tell if you're doing your job correctly based on how much fun your campers were having that's all I'm gonna talk about today you know it's just kind of a sum up about campers maybe I'll do another one about campers but that's kind of basics you know yeah well see you next video bye